Hey y'all, just a southern girl. Today I'm going to make a southern squash casserole. And I've already melted two tablespoons of butter. And to this I have sliced about five medium squash. I'm going to add this. And I have diced. one medium onion and all I'm doing here is I'm trying to soften the um, the squash and onion you don't want to fry it you don't you, we're not trying to get it done we just want to soften it because squash has a lot of water and we want to get some of the water out nobody likes a Squash casserole, too watery. So I'm going to um, saute this for about 10 minutes. And then I'm going to show you what else to mix up. And we'll have our squash casserole. So I'll be back. Like I said, I'm going to cook this for about 10 minutes. I'm going to stir it maybe twice. We just want to get the center of this squash and the onions a little tender that's all we're trying to do we're not trying to cook it so we'll do that and then I'll show you what else okay it's been about 10 minutes <clears throat> I was wrong you do have to keep turning this it's been a while since I made this but I bought squash and this is what I wanted you want to get your squash tender in the middle see it's not really white anymore. It's starting to be a little translucent like the onions. So just keep moving it around like this and flip it over. You don't want to brown it. So now that I've got it softened, I have a colander in my sink. And I don't think I need to show anybody how to drain anything. So I'm going to dump all this in my colander and let it set for about five minutes so we get all the liquid out of the bottoms because you don't want it to be soupy. It's just not good that way. And then I'm going to mix up what we need to make the casserole. All right, I have my squash uh, drained and put in this bowl and I'm going to set it aside for just a minute. I'm going to mix up and I'm going to get another whisk just a minute. <laughs> okay, here we go. I forgot uh, to tell you I have my oven preheating at 350 so now we're going to we need some sour cream mayonnaise one egg cheese and salt pepper onion powder garlic powder Two more tablespoons of butter and one sleeve of Ritz crackers or any kind of buttery crackers you like. You can use the store brand. Okay, first I have an egg right here. I'm going to go ahead and whisk that. Let me get y'all in this camera view. Not one of my strong points. Okay. Now we're going to add. I'm just making a half of a recipe. But if you want to do this in a 9 by 13 casserole dish. And you have a bigger family. You need to double this recipe. I'm going to use. About. Recipe calls for a half a cup of mayonnaise, and y'all know I measure with my heart. I'm going to use a fourth a cup of mayonnaise, and that's about that's about one big tablespoonful. And with me, it's a little extra. You know, when it comes to the, not going to say the word. Yeah, that. All right, to that, I'm going to add four ounces of sour cream. I have a. Uh, 16 ounces of sour cream because I use a lot of sour cream and stuff So I'm just going to get about a fourth of this container out and If you are not good at 
some judging stuff. I may just get you some measuring cups and measure with your heart, honey. Add the sour cream. That's about a fourth of this container. To this, I'm going to add six ounces of cheese. Now, you can use sharp cheddar, mild. It's good with any. You can mix cheeses. You can... I wouldn't use mozzarella. Any kind of cheddar or maybe Parmesan. I'm going to add... I'm going to measure this just for video sake because that's another thing I measure with my heart when it comes to cheese. I'm going to put about Hmm. Probably about well, not quite a cup. Well, mate, I got I have Kobe Jack, so I'm going. I'm going to put about three fourths of a cup of Kobe Jack, and I have a little bit of this triple cheddar. Now, just use what you like. So that's about three fourths a cup of that. And I got about a half a cup of this triple cheddar. So I'm going. I'm going to go ahead and throw that in there, too. Can't go wrong with cheese, right? I'm going to mix this a little bit. It's already hot again. It got up to... It was 89 degrees at 7 o'clock last night. I'm really just looking at this to see how it looks because you don't want it to be too dry either so yeah that looks pretty good okay I'm going to add a half, oh, it got up to 89 degrees and our power went out that's what I was saying last night it was really hot I'm going to add a fourth of a teaspoon and I will measure this because I don't want too much garlic and you don't have to add these spices. A fourth of a teaspoon of garlic powder. But I like to add some spice. And I'm going to use a half a teaspoon of onion powder. <coughs> but what I was saying is. It's getting hot all of a sudden. And it's 10 o'clock in the morning. And I'm getting this out of the way. Because I knew I wanted to cook it. But I'm not going to be cooking this. In the afternoon. Mm -mm. I'm not looking forward to these hot days ahead, so I'm going to mix that real good. I'm going to add about a four teaspoon of salt. About, oh, I salt, I don't know if I said I salted and peppered my squash when I was cooking it, but I did. Y'all forgive me, I'm still learning. Okay, I'm going to get that all mixed in. And I'm going to mix this into my, I keep thinking I'm forgetting something, but I know I'm not. There's a lot of different ways you can make this casserole. You can use cream of chicken soup. But it seems like I use, I've used that in every recipe I've done, so it's good this way. Anything with mayonnaise, you know what kind, or any kind you like, okay. Any kind you like is good. So I'm going to fold this in. I, you don't want to mix it too, too hard because you don't want to tear the squash up. So you want to just incorporate all that in. And then we're going to have one more step. Y'all know what that is. With the Ritz crackers. Well, I'm hoping I don't make a mess because I have been known to. And crackers. Yeah, I'll get you sometimes. So I'm going to put this in my casserole dish. Got it all mixed up. Sorry for the noise. See, this is just, I'm just making this for us. Me and my husband, so I have the recipe. I got a piece of squash stuck. Wait a minute. This bowl's heavy, y'all. You know, these are older bowls. That were my mother's. 
I see how them older people's got them muscles. Now, they didn't play with no plastic bowls and stuff like we do. Their bowls weigh 10 pounds a piece. Okay, so I'm going to spread this out. Evenly. And I've melted uh, two more tablespoons of butter. And I'm going to add the cracker. It's not, it's not quite melted. I'm going to add the crackers, and y'all know. Y'all know I have had a little bit of problem opening these. Not opening. Crushing them. But the main thing is always hold it over the bowl when you... Y'all know what? I'm looking at this cheese and I, I'm just thinking, wow, hold it. I'm going to put some more on top because it's cheese. Not a lot. I'm going to put some more on here. Like I said, do you? Uh, it don't call for it, but I've never done it, but it just, it'll work. I promise it'll work. And it'll be good. Alright. Push this to the side again. And now, I've got my butter melted. Here we go with these crackers. We gotta crush them. I'll start at the top and just crush. Oh, me. This makes me nervous. I always hold it over the bowl because. I'm being careful now. I might not call it for a second. Because <laughs> you get crushing and you have crackers everywhere. Well, maybe you won't, but I will because I'm just messy. I'm just a messy person. My husband walks in the kitchen and just looks around sometimes like, what have you done in here? Okay. I think it's good. It's starting to pop out a little bit. I just hate crumbs everywhere, y'all. That's one of my pet peeves. And watch me dump everything out now that I've said that. <clears throat> when me and my husband first got married, he said, can't even drop, drop a crumb on the counter. I don't like that. Let me pour these into this two, two tablespoons of melted butter. And we'll keep crushing to make sure we got them. You want them pretty fine. It don't matter if there's a few. It's not crushed. Let me get another spoon. We're going to uh, make sure the butter's coated all of them. Mix them up. And you can tell if butter's on them or not. If you see any bigger pieces, just, just chop them. But you won't if you do it that way. You're not bad anyway. Alrighty, now we got that, I'm going to take my casserole, and I'm going to sprinkle this on top. Since we've already cooked the squash a little bit, I'm going to put this in the oven for, on 350 for about 30 minutes. And if it takes longer, I'll let you know. I don't think it will, but spread them all out. All right. Put this in my 350 degree oven for 30 minutes. And then we're going to try it out. And my husband's telling Alexa to stop. I don't know what she's talking about now. All right, y'all, my casserole's ready. It's golden brown. And this is what it looks like. It's not time to eat yet. I told y'all I'm cooking early today, and there you have it. I'm going to fry some chicken, and I'll do a video on that in a little while. And then I'll show you my whole plate with this on it, too. Thanks for watching.